Hi, I'm Rob, a product manager for Optimizely Down. I'm going to walk you through our new brand templates feature. Brand templates gives you the tools to create image templates right within the platform, allowing you to set which parts of the images other users can edit to make sure they can quickly create on-brand assets tailored to their needs. So let's get into it. I'm currently in the library section of the platform, and here we can see we have this new tab marked templates. Here we'll be able to view, create, use, and organize our templates. Let's go ahead and start by creating a new template. By clicking Create Template, we'll open up the template editor. And I'm going to just give this a title of Social Template. And we can start creating. I'm just going to click off the canvas so we can set the size. We have a number of pre-set uh, canvas sizes, but we could also just set it with our dimensions here. I'm going to set this to 1200 by 627. Once I've done that, I'm ready to start actually creating my visuals. So I'm going to start by adding in an image here. By clicking on library, we'll pull up um, the Optimize the Dam so we can see any assets that we've already uploaded there. And I'm going to select this asset here. We can move this across our canvas by dragging. We can resize. We also have a number of options on the top toolbar to crop. We can add filters if we wanted to. Or we can open up more to see even more options. And we could set exactly where we want this image to be positioned here. So we've got our image. I'm now going to fill in the, the gaps we've got here with a few color blocks. So I'm going to add in a rectangle to the left of my image here. So I can just resize and snap that. I can also then um, change the color of this. So I'm going to use um, the optimizely branded blue, and we can add that in here. We have all the top bar um, options for here as well. So we can, again, we can change the position and size if we wanted to, and we could make any edits to that color block as well. I'm now going to duplicate this and fill in the other gaps. So I could push this to the other side. And again, I'm just going to drag that to resize it. And I'm also going to change the color to a lighter blue. So again, I'm just using the hex code um, to make sure I have the exact on-brand color there. Now we've got this. I'm going to add text on top of my image. Um, I can set, select that. I can resize my text box. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste in some text here. And we can also style this text by changing the size. Just going to make that a little bigger. And I'm going to move that. We can also use custom fonts. So we have a number of pre-selected fonts in here. But you can also upload any fonts that you have within asset management settings as well. Now we've got our template. We can make any edits before we save. Um, but lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to set what about this template I want other users to be able to change. Um, so first of all, I'm going to make this text box a placeholder. So by making a placeholder, I'm saying when someone uses this template, this is a box they can change. I can decide what they can change about this. So here, I'm just going to set it to allow replace content. So someone can type their own message on top of here. I could allow them to move, scale. Um, I could allow them to style the text as well. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep this at replace content. And I'm actually going to allow them to replace the image as well. And we can set that as a placeholder. Now I've got my template organized. I can go ahead and just hit save here. This is going to save our template to the template library. And so we can see that that template is now saved. Now, coming from this from the other point of view of using the template, I want to come in um, and I'm going to make a few edits um, so I can now publish this on social. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click Use Template. And what we'll be able to see here is, unlike before, I can't change these color blocks, but those two placeholders I've set we can see I can now edit these. 
So I can click to replace the image. Um, again, I can pull up the um, image library and let me just select a different image. So I can uh, change the image there. I could also change the text if I wanted to, um, and then we can do that as well. Once I've made my edits and I, I'm ready to, to use um, the, the branded post I have, I can go ahead, I can download um, either as an image or as a PDF, or I can go ahead and save to the library, or I could use create task and move this through a workflow to get someone else to review it um, or, or publish it to social. Hi, I'm going to walk you through how you can create and use brand templates within a task in the CMP. Here, I've already started a task. And for the sake of this demo, let's say I've already been briefed um, and I'm ready to start designing our templates. So I'm just going to click across to our content tab here. And if I click add content, we can see that we have an option called brand templates. Here, I'm going to select create a template. So this is creating a template from scratch. Um, I'm going to work with our designers and get a template approved that anyone across our business can use um, to make sure they always have on-brand content. Um, for this demo, I'm just very quickly going to create a template for us. Um, so I'm just going to add in some elements to this. Just going to add in a box here. Let me just give that a color. I'm just going to add in these blocks and then I'll add in an image on top of this. And like I say, this is a very quick version of what we can do here. We can be much more precise as we go through. Um, but once I'm ready with my template, I can obviously add text to this. I can decide what um, is a placeholder so what other people can edit when they're using this template. Um, I'm also going to give this a title, social template. And I'm going to go ahead and just click save template here. And this is just going to save this template to my task for now. So this is going to allow me to collaborate with colleagues. If they have feedback, they can add that within the task. Um, they can go in and make edits. But let's just say we've collaborated and everyone's happy with this template. I can then move this on. And then I can move this on to my colleague to approve the template before we move it to um, the templates library. Um, so let's just go ahead and mark that as complete. We can see that this is going to move that template to the templates library. I can just complete that. And what we'll be able to see now, if I go across to the library and click on templates, we'll now be able to see that that template is available for anyone to use um, if they have access to the template section. So that's how you can create a template, collaborate with um, colleagues and get that approved and moved on to templates. Now, if we go into another task, um, I want to show you how you can use templates within a task. So here I've got a, a different um, workflow. So here I've been asked to create um, a number very number of variations of assets and I know they are going to be published to social. So I'm going to go ahead and click add content again and this time I'm going to use a template. So that's going to take us through to um, our templates library and here I can see the one I just created but I'm going to use um, this template for now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that template. And so that's going to bring me into the use experience of the template. So here we can see that I'm able to edit the text and I'm able to edit this image. Um, and so I'm going to just create a few variations with different images for this um, task. So I'm just going to use one as the, the standard template. So that works for me. So I'm just going to export that as a PNG and I'll export that. And that will add this as an image to my task. So when I go out of this 
um, I'll be able to see this image um, there and it will be ready for use. And so we can see that's now being exported um, to Tusk. I can then change the image and I can go through that again. And so I can now just keep making changes that I want um, and exporting each time um, that I'm ready to, to save these. And then once I'm done, I can just close the template editor. Um, let's just confirm that we are finished. And if I now go back to my task, we'll be able to see an asset. So we can see the PNG that I exported um, from the template editor ready to use. Um, if I had it exported more, they'll all appear at the top here. Um, and now I'm done with my asset creation. So I've been able to really quickly create multiple versions of this asset um, all on brand. And I'm ready just to move on and pass these assets um, to, to our social manager to, to publish to social. So that's how you can both create and use templates from tasks within the CMP. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions or feedback. We'd love to hear from you.